What's up everybody? If you don't know me already, my name is Marcus Rose. I'm a tattoo artist at Sharky's Paradise here in Longmont, Colorado. So today I'm gonna be talking about how I got started here at Sharky's Paradise. So when I got into tattooing, I was about like 14 years old and I wanted to be a tattoo artist just mainly because I couldn't be an architect because I was not good at school, did not like school whatsoever, was super bad at it. I was only good at a few subjects. None of them had anything to do with architecture. They were all art. I just saw one day Cat Von D tattoo on TV and I was like, dude, you can actually be successful in tattoo. It's not all thugs and bikers and gangs and prison prison tattooers and stuff like that and like that kind of like opened my eyes to like you can actually like make a living off tattooing and like do something with it so i was like really interested in that and then i went and just like got super like consumed in it like everything i did was just about tattooing drawing like when i went to school i didn't even like do any of my classes i literally just sat and drew my papers for like the whole day like seven hours straight and then I like dropped out and tried to get an apprenticeship at pretty much every other shop in, in town and nobody would give me an apprenticeship. They told me um, I had to pay like five grand because like they, I wasn't worth their time and they had to like make a little bit of a profit to make it worth their time. And then there's other people who told me I wasn't a good enough artist and I needed to practice more. Um, so that kind of like really put me down on my luck. And then, so from there I was just kind of doing everything myself, just tattooing my friends out of my house, really fucking people up, but you know what I mean? Like they knew what they were getting into. I remember one day me and my girlfriend were going to go ice skating. Yeah, we we're going ice skating and at uh, the Walgreens right here, right next door to Sharky's Paradise. I remember we were stopping to get like gloves or something like that. She's the one who actually spotted out the tattoo shop that just opened up. And when that happened, she was just like, oh, we should go in here and you should try to apply for apprenticeship. And I was like, nah, not really about that. I just want to do everything myself now. I got it on the ropes. And then fucking, she like really just pushed me and urged me to come in the shop. And I was like, all right, fine, we'll just go in. And we did. And then I talked to Sharky for literally like five, 10 minutes. And he asked me like, do you have a portfolio or anything like that? Do you draw? And I was like, yeah, I live literally right down the street. And so I was like, let me run, run home and get my portfolio. Ran all the way home as fast as I could, told my girlfriend to just wait there so I could like literally sprint. I knew she wasn't as fast as me. So I ran home, grabbed my portfolio, and I ran literally back all the way as, um, as fast as I could. And then I got there, slammed on the table. I was like, here it is, like out of breath, you know what I mean? Sharky opened it up, looked at like one or two pages, and he's just like, you know what, dude? Like, I can tell you want this. Like, you really like got the drive for it. You're like out of breath. You ran home and grabbed this. So I'll give you a shot. And then, so yeah, that was, that was history, bro. I went, I skated with my girlfriend, came back that night, helped close up the shop, came back the next morning, started my apprenticeship, and I was here every single day ever since. Yeah, that lasted about like nine months, nine to 10 months. And then Sharky put me on the floor. I was tattooing professionally about pretty much two to three times a week until it started to pick up. Like maybe a couple months after that, I was tattooing pretty much every day. And now I'm at the point where I'm booked up like three months. And yeah, that's my story, how I got started here at Sharky's Paradise. So dope, thanks, give us a follow. Follow me on Instagram and make sure you like and subscribe.